Hey guys, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the My Audio MRB headphone amplifier DIY kit. So this will be an amplifier you have to make using soldering on the circuit board and uh, installing it into the housing of the amplifier. So here we have the uh, instruction sheet. So where next up we have the uh, pa package in which it um, home holds both the circuit board we have here and many different components um, re capacitors, resistance, um, the jack inputs, the jack, the uh, headphone out sort of systems, all of that stuff I won't open it up because there's a load of stuff in there um, and they all just look like little metal fiddly bits so there's no point in getting everything um, lost and messed up we then have we then have the op amp which is um, the AD8620 and that's what actually is the amplifier in the headphone and we have another one here which is the LM317 so we then have um, this cable and this uh, metal rod and then finally we have the housing of the amplifier so let's get that open So we do have um, all the screws loose obviously, all the um, screws and piece of metal that and the face plate all inside here. But as you can see it's a uh, audio file ear headphone amplifier. It is done do it yourself. Um, yeah. so it's all stainless steel aluminium and it's really quite chunky and pretty sleek. Uh, will be portable to an extent. Um, I can always stick it to the back of my iPhone or with a player. Um, so I think, I think it looks sleek. So uh, when this is all done, it should be a nice amplifier, and hopefully it sounds good. Um, so that's the Myo Audio MRB. Um, I should I'll make a little work of this tutorial video on how to make it, but we'll see uh, how hard it I find it, whether or not that will be feasible. All the Parts will have to go. Now we have all the parts um, and everything open and we're ready to go. Um, I recommend using the diagram to label up um, all the parts so you can easily get to each one. So um, the capacitor one, I can quickly link up and see it's there. So I won't need to do that. I can use the capacitor. Um, I recommend a small tipped. Um, solder here as you can see this has got a real nice small tips because um, when you're soldering the PCB it is quite fiddly and I also recommend a real nice thin um, solder um, as you can see I've done a little bit so far um, put a few capacitors in um, it all seems to be going rather well so far not perfect but um, yeah it's, we're getting there um, and I'm just going to do this capacitor here now, so uh, yeah, that's where I'm up to. Um, so, just a quick little insight into it. Obviously, I'm not going to video me doing the whole thing, it's, it's taken a fair while, but um, yeah, that's just a quick look at what I've got up to so far. Hey guys, so I've now completely soldered my Mayu DRB, MRB, I mean, DIY amp. It's all soldered and finished. So all the parts are in place, all the op amps are in place, I've stuck a battery in and there's the solder work and um, to confirm that it turns on I flick, flick the switch here we have our welcome blue LED light flash on so now I'm just going to check it works fine so to do that I'm going to Plug in some headphones, of course, and a source. So, plug in, ooh, plug in my iPhone 4 for a Crossroads AD1 line out dock, and then Brainwaves HM5 headphones. Doesn't matter what you use, just. 
Um, so I plug my HM5s in, turn the switch on, play some music and hopefully that we get a sound on the other end. We have a good sound, good circuit, no channel imbalance like I have had before with this. So yep, yeah, that's all fine. So now our next step is putting it in the included um, box or housing for the amplifier. So first we can just slide it, slide it in. So we have all that sticking out the end and the back is there. Um, and it's a quite a simple case of screwing on the face plates. So now the amp's finished, um, made the housing, it's all neatly tucked away here and you can just watch me christen it by putting on the volume knob. And there we go. The housing was easy to put together, just um, use the screwdriver that's included, screw everything up. As you can see, um, everything fits into the holes and it really it does look like a nice amp, really nice shiny silver. Um, Flick the switch on, you get the blue LED, which is nice. Um, yeah, for $110, it's not too hard to make. I have had a few uh, mishaps along the way, which um, my, my who submitted the wrong um, wrong resistors in the wrong places on one of their charts they sent me, so I had to switch them around. But in the end, they've cut, it's all come good, and I just hope it sounds good. So I'm now going to go and get some listing time on it, and that's my unboxing and making of the Mayu MRB DIY headphone amplifier. Hope you enjoyed it and um, if you get one good luck with making it.